For the past four years, Frank Becker has been working for Bicker Logistics in Trier. But the trained retail salesman earns 25% less than the permanent staff. He's employed by a temp agency. Actually, I wanted to leave the retail sector altogether and was self-employed for a year and a half. Then came a point when it was no longer going so well and I looked for a second source of income. And temping was very convenient, and so I've continued in that. Markus Zimmer of the DEKRA Temporary Employment Agency is in charge of finding such jobs, but it's becoming more difficult. The trend means that we can't find positions for as many employees. The current economic situation has changed so dramatically in the past two or three months. And there's no end in sight. Zimmer has found positions for 11 employees at Bicke Logistics. He reviews their schedules together with his client. Based on the schedule, I can see that things aren't improving. It's more likely to get worse in the next few weeks, so fewer people will be needed than now. Do you know when you'll stop production? Production will be stopped on December 19th. After that, we won't need any more workers. At Dekra's headquarters in Stuttgart, Jürgen Nussa is very concerned about the slowdown. Temporary employment agencies are the first to feel the economic downturn. Here at DECRA, we've been hit really hard in the past few weeks. It's been noticeable the entire year, but since the end of September, when the financial crisis really set in, it's been very bad. There's been a significant drop in sales and earnings. That's bad news for the temporary workers and the agencies that employ them. So what happens when Jürgen Nusser can no longer place his staff? A temporary employment agency that has to take back its workers and can't place them elsewhere can continue six to eight weeks and then it goes bankrupt. That means the employees have to either be given work at other companies or be laid off. No temp company is keen to lay off its workers because in the past four or five years we've seen how difficult it was to find personnel. Back at Bicke Logistics in Trier. The company also runs a storage facility for a cigarette manufacturer. The cigarette industry is less susceptible to economic crises, but it hasn't entirely escaped the slowdown. Frank Becker is unlikely to fulfill his dream of being offered a permanent position in the near future. So the 36-year-old will have to continue as a temporary employee. Unfortunately, that's the way things stand now. It's just not possible to get a permanent position in the sector. Business is changing here too, so perhaps eventually there will be opportunities. I'm ready for action, whatever happens. One thing does seem certain. Frank Becker and other temporary workers will likely be among the first to be affected by the economic slump.